Last episode, we took our place back as Schalke manager and started to turn this team's fortunes around. And now we get down to business this time out. Well, no time to waste. We're getting straight into gameplay for this one. Seventh place right now. A game in hand over a couple of these teams and things really not looking all that bad in terms of a promotion push here in this season. We'll have to see what this team has, though. Obviously, a ton of turnover. Plenty of players left. Uh, some of the players who maybe weren't getting a lot of minutes back in the team, and it's up to us to get the best out of the players we have here. Like I said last episode though, it's all going to be about this possession play, building an identity this season. Promotion is honestly secondary to us just starting to play beautiful football and figure out what our best starting 11 is here. Eric Tommy, far and away the most dangerous player so far. He's so high rated for Division 2 even and, and really a quality player who I think is going to be one of our key players not only this season but uh, if he sticks around for probably the remainder of the career. We'll have to see how things develop though. Again, unfortunately, despite all the possession and the chances, Schalke still have yet to find a goal here, but that doesn't stop us from trying. Eagle Brook, the latest to go, sliding in, almost getting a foot to that ball, and it takes us all the way into the second half here, still scoreless, working it around, and again, Eric Tommy, so many shots in at goal, yet to convert one, but it's been all Schalke so far, not even a sniff in our direction, if I'm being completely honest, and Eric Tommy, again, the danger man on the wing, can he deliver something, looking for a ball in behind, and again, just a couple feet in front of the attacker going into it there and the game ends scoreless nil nil very disappointing despite all the chances and possession that we had in this game it wasn't enough to separate the two teams not the end of the world yet we'll have to see if it's sustained or not and we move on all right straight back into action looking to right the wrongs from last game uh, we're slightly changing and chopping this team a little bit here. Sandoval on the wing. We also have CD Sane. Uh, plenty of options to come in and out of this team. A lot of similarly rated players who are able to compete this season. Uh, among those are players, like I just mentioned, Sane, who can play on the wing. Uh, Evan Rotundo in the midfield, who isn't necessarily starting right now, but is a uh, genuine option for us to be a starter if he can prove himself sort of through the next couple games or stretches of the season. We'll have to see how things pan out. Honestly, though, for the time being, like I said, last game was disappointing, but we've been playing really, really well since coming back in charge, and uh, if a draw is as bad as things get, <laughs> I'll definitely take it. Uh, we'll have to see, like I mentioned, if it's sustained or not, but there you have it. Marvin Dux getting in behind again. This guy is already having an outstanding season, really scoring goals, leading the line. I know there's a little bit of drama with him taking the number nine from Egal Brook, uh, but all seems to be well in the squad right now. Brook is making an impact off the bench. Dux is doing a fantastic job of leading the line and giving a little bit of experience to this team that is very young. So many of our starting players are uh, 21 or under, so we have to have some kind of players uh, who are able to stand up to the challenge. But uh, we got problems here in this immediate term situation with the opposition scoring to level it back up 1-1. And uh, our fantastic work there early in the game is undone. So it's down to Schalke here to see if we can have some sort of response and find another goal in this team. Evan Rotundo, uh, the aforementioned central midfielder, chipping it over the top looking for a way in he's one of our more creative players pa fantastic passing stats and you can see him splitting the lines a couple times here and there you have it it's another goal and a lovely one at that Marvin Ducks. he's always going to finish at the end of those kind of moves a genuine target man like we haven't had for the majority of this career uh, and an outlet for all of these fantastic passes in the build-up play that we have it's been really the key component that we've been missing obviously Florino Coman a very different type of striker who could get in behind, create chances on his own, but Dux is the type uh, who we can just kind of lump balls into <laughs> and hope for the best, and uh, the best is coming here as he continues to score goals. Dux looking for a way through now, a little bit of hold-up play. Eric Tommy finds the return pass, and he goes for the overhead kick. Not too bad at all. We take it into the second half here, still a goal up and still looking for more. Rotundo, fantastic pass to split lines there. Fabian finds Tommy. Surely it's another goal. Lovely stuff from Schalke, and we are flying high. There you have it. Three goals and things looking much more secure at this point in the game. 
Well, this is the kind of play I want to see more of from the team, working it around well, uh, not only creating chances, but also finishing them. And you gotta say, Evan Rotundo playing really well. He's actually playing as our defensive midfielder, but being such a deep-lying playmaker has benefited the team in this game so far. Eric Tommy, lovely footwork. No way, what a goal, and he is having an outstanding game too. Eric Tommy, what a goal. Did it all on his own, and we'll take it. I was saying on the last game how good of a player he's been for us uh, and I think the best is yet to come from him lovely lovely stuff what a finish at the end of the move too and four goals for Schalke here although the game's certainly not over here lovely free kick to make it two for the opposition we got to be careful here with 10 minutes remaining in the match uh, fair play that is an outstanding free kick nothing the goalkeeper could do about that Rose or Himmelman <laughs> both of the goalkeepers challenging for that starting spot I don't think either one of them was getting to that shot but another chance splits our line well saved by the goalkeeper Himmelman but it finds its way into the back of the net 3-4 at this point way way closer than we would have liked this game to end uh, with only one minute remaining we have to be very very careful and eventually we see the game out 4-3 the final result lovely start up from Schalke. A little nerve-wracking at the end. Definitely not our best defensive display, uh, but we'll take the points where we can get them. Three big ones. We're back to winning ways at least, uh, even if it was a bit of a nail-biter. Good stuff from the team though, and we move on. All right, well, all said and done, we're still in seventh place. Uh, still, again, a game in hand over a couple of these teams, so we could slide up uh, into pretty close to a promotion spot. I mean, level on points, at least with St. Pauli. Uh, we got to see how a lot of these games unfold, though, so we'll see. Uh, next up, this is going to be a tough one, guys. We're facing the team uh, Firth. Someone will have to let me know in the comments exactly how to pronounce that. I'm not the best with German teams. But it's the team we got sacked against, so we have a lot on the line here to show that we have improved since then. In the meantime, if you guys want to join my Discord chat, feel free to click the link in the description. Jump in there, uh, and you guys can help me coach this team to glory. And with that said, it's make or break time. This is our chance to show what we got, show how the team has improved. And in the meantime, if you guys want to consider subscribing to the channel, please do so. And on we go. All right, here we go. Hugo Hawkins captaining the side again. The center back has been outstanding this season. Uh, we've had a couple of maybe not so great defensive displays, but we've already been head and shoulders above where the team was left off before then. And we're starting to see glimpses of the young center back and his potential, obviously coming from Chelsea and being a really highly rated or high potential player. Uh, he's starting to uh, really fill those shoes down here in Division 2 and show what he's got as a top player. Uh, even after losing his best center back partnerships with players like Shaw uh, or even Theo Jaggi who just left this summer, uh, he still is managing to do it all on his own and tie together this back four in a really spectacular way this season. Marvin Ducks working it through, Schalke, it's been all us so far and you gotta love that. Sean Bozdogan flying out of midfield. I was saying it last episode we set up the tactics so he was allowed to get forward and be our main goal threat coming out of midfield and he's done so so far this season. Uh, it's been a lovely performance. Uh, our set of performances, rather, from our central midfielder. A chance comes in in our direction, though, and a lovely strike takes it into the back of the net. Again, there is no stopping an opportunity like that. Absolute cannon of a volley uh, straight past the goalkeeper, and just like that, we are back on level terms. Coming into the second half here, I mean, genuinely, it's been all Schalke once again. We're controlling possession. We've had a lot of good movement. We're really limiting chances back in our direction, and Marco Fabian slides another one through. Goes Dogon for a second. There you have it. We're starting Starting to find goals when it counts uh, and coming from everywhere on the pitch really we are so much less reliant on uh, particularly our strikers like we saw last season Florin Alcoman scored the vast majority of goals uh, we're starting to change that just a little bit here Bozdogan among those who's starting to chip in in a significant way Sidi Sane looking to find his way through uh, still a little hard done there he hasn't been able to find goals over these last four seasons Sidi Sane but it's not for a lack of effort trying to find his way through again it's Marvin Ducks goes for the overhead kick but that's full-time 2-1 great stuff from Schalke to see ourselves through to another win a good performance again we're starting to see a lot of players shine here and a lot of different players which is what I like to see we're not seeing the same uh, game breaking player over and over again uh, it's just a really well balanced squad that's finally starting to come together and get good results so we're straight back into action, and there's the last game's man of the match, Bozdogan, our attacking central midfielder who's playing kind of in a, 
A uh, similar situation with Marco Fabian on the right side, both of them contributing a ton to the attack, and we'll hope that that continues to be the case out here in this game. Uh, Jersey's a little hard to tell between these two, it's a frustrating game to play because of that, but Schalke uh, still pretty dominant in possession like we would expect. CD Sané playing out on the right this time and still trying to develop his eye for goal just a little bit, but it has yet to fall for him. Couple chances, but really nothing to show for it. And Evan Rotundo, outstanding ball again. This guy's something else. I think he's still maybe 19 in this career and he's really developing an eye for picking out fantastic passes, giving the ball away in a dangerous area though. Sané. Uh, it is converted back in our direction. We go a goal down just before halftime. That's a disappointing one after uh, really looking pretty good so far in this game, but we got a little bit of a mountain here to climb with one goal deficit to make up Evan Rotundo looking to pick out a pass. Bozdogan, patient stuff here. Sandoval, oh, it's a horrible miss. I think he might have just been offsides anyways, but it's disappointing from Schalke in terms of a final product. Chan Bozdogan again, lovely touchdown couple feet wide of the goal there and it was not far off at all 63 minutes in now and Schalke still yet to find a goal here dancing in behind the opposition we're having a real hard time closing down in the box and it's another finish to take us two goals down starting to slip out of reach maybe here Schalke not looking at our greatest uh, maybe a foul given away at the edge of the area, but it wasn't called. We'll take it. Counterattack now. What can we make happen? Eagle Brook, the substitute coming on. His pace is devastating, and he waits patiently. Marvin Duxch, it's eventually finished. I thought he messed up the pass at the end of the move there, but it's lovely. The two strikers linking up. We pull one back, and it's game on here. Can we make something happen with 10 minutes remaining? Well, we got to be careful in our direction. It's another goal conceded. 3-1, really disappointing end to this game. I thought we could have made a comeback, but unfortunately, just wasn't our night. 3-1, definitely a disappointing one in the rain. Wasn't coming together for us. Definitely one of our worst performances so far since being back in charge. We keep our heads up, and we move on. All right, well, we face the media after that defeat. Uh, like I said, an unfortunate one. Uh, they're saying it's our first defeat back in charge. I'm not sure if that's true or not. <laughs> I'd have to go back through the last episode. To be completely honest, I don't remember our uh, entire string of results here. But uh, it is a disappointing one coming off the back of some good games. Uh, we're looking pretty good overall. I'm not too concerned about it. Again, unless this becomes a running theme where we lose a bunch of games in a row. We're still in sixth place. Only nine games into the season. Things are still coming together from this team. We're still figuring the team out. Uh, so we get straight back into action here against St. Pauli. And with that said, let's get to it. All right, here we go. That's the one to watch. Marvin Ducks, three goals in his last three games. Uh, by far our leading goal scorer this season. But like I mentioned, everyone's kind of chipping in. It's been a much more balanced spread of goals than we've seen in the past. So that's a nice welcome change here. And again, it's been all Schalke. Only two minutes in, we've had all of the ball, though, working it around patiently, just waiting for openings. I mean, we're in no rush, like I said. It's all about possession here, creating chances, and just trying to find openings, controlling the tempo of the match. Uh, the more we're able to work the ball around like this, uh, the less chances certainly will be coming back in our direction. And with the players we have, we will be able to find that space. And here we go, Eric Tommy making a nice run in behind. Lovely touch, lovely finish. What a player we have on our Hands. That is a fantastic goal. Great pass from Fabian to pick it out too, uh, but that is just exactly what we're looking for from this team. The wingers as goal threats cutting inside. We have a target man up top who can lay it off, and players like Fabian who can pick out the passes too. Everything going according to plan so far. CD Sane still looking for a goal and still unable to find one. Gives it up and it falls fortunately to the feet of Bozdogan who finishes wide of the net. Uh, but again, all the chances falling in our direction. If we can convert another one, maybe this game looking a little more secure. And there you have it, Bozdogan getting forwards and a lovely finish at the end of the move. You can see the team's flying high at this point. <laughs> They're all celebrating together. All the players are really involved in the system we have going on right now. And we're definitely starting to find our footing. It's some of the most confident play I've seen so far in this career. Uh, maybe with the exception of the back line who continues to leak some goals uh, when it counts here. Another goal uh, conceded against us, 28 minutes in still a lot to play for in this match so we definitely have to be careful that we don't concede more here another dangerous chance coming in behind Ali Yu unable to get his head on it but it falls to Daniel Rose the goalkeeper uh, who's really starting to outplace Himmelman as our main goalkeeper I think he's had some really good performances 
I've rotated a bit between the two of them uh, back and forth this season trying to decide, but I think with them being similar and Rose so young, it's definitely time to just integrate him in the team. It's a bit of a building year now. I don't know that promotion's off the table, but uh, definitely we'd rather favor giving our youth players minutes and developing them. Sané still trying to make an impression, a finish well high and wide of the goal there. <laughs> Again, not for lack of effort, he's giving it his all, but it just still has not really clicked for the young winger yet. And another chance coming in from E.L. Brook, not too far at all. Some good performances from the team so far. Again, a little closer probably than we would have liked in the end. But we see ourselves through to three points. That's all that matters at the end of the day. 2-1. And it's a great team performance. Again, everyone chipped in with really uh, solid performances. Maybe not 10 out of 10s, but <laughs> more like 7 out of 7s. Uh, we'll take it if it's the kind of consistent form we can grind out this season. I love to see it. But still gone man of the match once again. So we're up to fifth place, not too bad 10 games into the season, and things are definitely starting to click for this team. I think we have a pretty good idea of what we can do, but it's the ultimate test now as we take on second place Nuremberg, a fantastic opportunity to show what we got against the big guns, and let's get straight to it. All right, here we go for this one. Egal Brook and Marvin Ducks both starting. I'm trying to see if we can get the best out of both of our strikers. It's going to be imperative that we find a way to fit all of our best players into the squad this season. I think everything's going really well. The only thing that I would like to figure out is a way to get Brooke more involved as not just an impact sub. A uh, little issue with the camera here that I had to fix by setting it back uh, to the default. But we find ourselves under a little bit of pressure early in the match. Aliyu gets... Probably a little fortunate to get away with no penalty there. And we fly through an uneventful first half in which we almost never touch the ball, if I'm being perfectly honest. Nuremberg completely dominant in this one. And we're still under pressure here early in the second half. Uh, foul given away there by Griesbeck, who's struggling to keep up with the pace of play in midfield. Uh, they're just dancing circles around us with some of these passes. And a chance here from the free kick. It goes in and it's off the crossbar. I don't know if the goalie was getting to that, but regardless, we managed to keep it out here. Uh, and really, we have to make something happen. Trying to work it around Griesbeck, another huge mistake. Uh, bailed out by the captain, Hawkins. Lovely sliding challenge in the box to prevent a clear opportunity through on goal that likely would have been converted from that kind of range. And we're just struggling to close down here. Campanile flying in. It just seems like nothing's going our way. Can barely win the ball back. Can't keep a hold of possession. Uh, we're just coming under so much pressure here. Lovely uh, pass out wide to relieve some of the pressure here. Marvin Ducks up top. Can we create something on the counterattack? Uh, <laughs> so, sort of play we're not really used to this season. Marco Fabian, though, definitely has an eye to sneak through a pass if the right run is made. And he finds the outlet in Eagle Brook, who works it through. Oaks, lovely chance. Back post, and it's finished. Marvin Ducks at the end of the move, completely against the run of play. And Schalke convert. It's that man finishing once again. But credit to everyone involved in the build-up play. It it was lovely movement all over to eventually find the pass in and Philip Oaks, I mean, he's a little underrated I think playing out of left back but he is so technically gifted and really important in the way uh, we build up play and create chances in the final third. We eventually see it through. Maybe a little fortunate but these are the kind of games that matter. A huge, huge win against the run of play and we move on. All right, well, a little break in league action here for the last game of this episode in the Cup. Uh, things are going pretty well. I mean, a quick check-in with the squad. I won't go into too much detail because you can always check out my website. But uh, 15 games in, Marvin Ducks leads the goal-scoring charts for Schalke with seven. Two assists, not too bad either. He's really hit the ground running here. But I'd like to point out that it's really well balanced. I mean, look at the distribution here. Fabian on four goals, Bozdogan on four goals, Tommy on four goals, Igor Brook chipping in with two, Rotundo and Berisha. Uh, I guess the one was in preseason, <laughs> both chipping in with one goal apiece. Uh, but it's a really balanced team that we have on our hands. Like I mentioned earlier, you can go to respectthejeff.com, click on the Schalke tab, and you can check out all these stats yourself and kind of browse around and see the players' ratings. But with that said, we're going to get back to action here and definitely rotate a lot going into this cup game. We have a lot of youth players who deserve a chance in this one, and I think it's time for them to show what they got. Cabrera gets the start. We've rarely seen any of him this season. Uh, Shubin as well, playing as a defensive midfielder. Vida, Anu Bodem, uh, even Sandoval, who hasn't had too many minutes as of late. And let's see what they got here. All right, here we go. Egal Brook leads the line. One of the more experienced players, uh, along with Tommy and Hawkins, left in the starting 11 here after we rotated a lot for this one. 
obviously the cup is not that important for us this season in the grand scheme of things. It's more about building the team, uh, making sure that we uh, don't get sacked again, <laughs> things like that. Uh, but it would be nice to have a good cup run uh, just as a little bonus to this season here. Eric Tommy showing his class, working the ball around here and creating chances where uh, a lot of the youth players are struggling to get involved in the game, putting a cross in, and he's not too far off of Cabrera, who's actually looked a pretty big threat so far, the young attacking midfielder. And there he is again, finding Tommy top of the box, working it around Shubin. We're just trying to find some sort of opening here, and again, Cabrera consistently finding himself on the end of moves, but uh, unable to finish any of the chances, unfortunately for him. 22 minutes in, Artie Mufundu sliding in. That's a terrible, terrible challenge. A little fortunate, maybe, to not get away with something worse there, but the game rolls on. There's going to be plenty of chances for both of these teams to break the deadlock before this game is over, and another chance coming into the back post. It does exactly that. A goal down just like that. Poor marking from our back line. And you gotta say, you feel like uh, all the young players coming into this back line, it just does not look the same. Uh, same goes for offense, really, maybe not as fluid as we'd be expecting. Ego Brook at times sort of dragging this team to chances, trying to make something happen on his own, along with Eric Tommy. Uh, but no goal comes from those moves. 57 minutes in now, and we gotta make something happen before it gets too late. Gail Sandoval now charging up the field. And looking to make something happen here. Lovely slid in pass in behind Eagle Brook. Makes a really good run. Surely he'll finish this. And he does just around the goalkeeper. And he's the player that makes the difference again. Egal Brook having a really, really solid season. Despite not maybe starting every game and, and really coming on as a sub in a lot of cases, he's making a difference. He's scoring goals. He's using his pace effectively. And you can slowly see he's starting to mature and become the player that we thought he could with his potential starting to get realized here. And I think we've done well to sort of take it easy with him and let his development happen naturally over these four seasons. And he finds another one. Egal Brook, great goal and really a great team play there. Bozdogan again, the one getting forwards, making stuff happen, a lovely little dink over the top to the striker, and we're starting to see the best of Schalke again here. That is a great play, a uh, great overall team play there. CD Sané coming on as a substitute, and let's see if he can make something happen here. 20 minutes left in the match. He's been given plenty of opportunity, still just maybe not good enough from him. Uh, speaking of not good enough, Himmelman is back in goal and he makes a bit of a mess of that save there. Palms it straight into the post to find its way into the back of the net. Near post, probably should have done better. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a huge fan of the goalkeeper, but he has dropped off significantly over the last season. We're not uh, really seeing the best from him like we did in the first season or two in charge. And I think just because of that, uh, Daniel Rose is going to be our goalkeeper going forwards, our number one at least. But uh, we have cup games to take care of, and we have an extra time, uh, two periods here to play through to see who's going to come out on top in this game. It's anyone's game at this point. Been a really even uh, matchup here so far. Another little ball in behind and a shot just wide of the post. They're not going to trouble the goalkeeper if it's not even on target, uh, so we'll take it. Defending a little deep here and trying to prevent chances. Another mistake. It's been very sloppy from Schalke. Uh, I guess it's to be expected with a lot of youth players in the mix in this one, but <laughs> passing it around in a bit of a panic in the back. We see it through the whistle blows. We're going into this second half of extra time here. Is anyone going to be able to find a goal, or are we taking this to penalties again? Uh, only time will tell. Uh, been a bit hectic at times. Plenty of chances from both teams. Maybe not even as many goals as we would expect at 2-2. Uh, Philip Oaks, though, the outlet there on the left-hand side again, and he's putting a cross into the box. Not too far off of the striker. Rotundo, it's blocked by the center back. And another pair of good chances goes missing there. Ego Brook finding it through. Eric Tommy probably last chance of the game. Lovely little step overs, and Shirley on the hat trick. Oh, he's pushed off of it, and it's just wide of the post. Uh, unfortunately, no call given there, so we're taking it to penalties. It's going to be a really tense finish again. Uh, someone comment below and let me know. I'm pretty sure we took on this team in penalties uh, either last season or the season before and won. So if we can pull off another victory here, it would be a huge morale boost for this team uh, to do the double in a similar scenario here. Philip Oaks, the first one to step up and take it. Lovely finish and Schalke go 1-0 up just like that. Himmelman goes the wrong way though and it's 1-1 back on level terms. It's going to be a really tense one, I'll be honest. Bozdogan into the top right corner again and Himmelman again sent the wrong way and it's 2-2, two, two, 
three penalties left to take to see who's going to go out on top here. Ducks, lovely finish. No goalkeeper in the world saving that kind of pen. And again, Himmelman goes the wrong way, and it's still level here on 3-3. Egal Brook off the crossbar, and it's down into the pitch there, and it does not cross the line. Fortunately for us, the opposition misses their penalty. To keep things on level terms, Eric Tommy finishes his chance. And it's all going to come down to this now. Robin Himmelman yet to save one of these penalties. Can he find his hands on the end of this move? No! Dives at the last minute, and the Panenka down the middle gets the better of him. Unfortunately, we're taking this one more round. CD Sane blasts it over the crossbar. Heartbreaking for us, and we need a miracle here on this kick to keep things going. Another round. Robin Himmelman, can he do it? No, but the penalty is missed regardless. We're going another one. Evan Rotundo to step up and take this, and it's in the back of the net. Things are looking good once again. Schneider steps up to take this one, and he misses again. Shocking, shocking stuff on some of those misses, but we'll take it. Himmelman didn't save a single one of those, but plenty of missed chances from the opposition allows us to come out on top. Well, that's another nail biter, but we'll take it. We're grinding out some wins here, and overall form has been really solid so far. I like what I'm seeing from this team. Taking another quick check in with where we stand. Uh, still fourth place, obviously, since last time we checked in. Uh, 11 games played. I mean, it's not looking too bad at all. Maybe a third of the way ish through the season. Uh, and if, if this goes anything to go by, I think we are in good shape so far. And in the meantime, if you guys want to consider subscribing to the channel, helps me out a lot, helps me make this good content and keep the channel going. With that said, I'll be back soon with next episode. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.